Hi everyone, in this video we're going to discuss solving equations by inspection. This is the fourth video in a series of introduction to equations. Now, what does it mean to solve by inspection? If you look at the word inspection, you can see that it comes from the word inspect. And inspect means to look at something carefully. So when you solve an equation by inspection, it means to look at the equation carefully and then give the solution. You see, some equations don't require lots of calculation. Some can just be solved by looking at them. For example, if I had 2 times by x is 20, most of you will know that x must be 10 because your mental maths tells you that 2 times 10 is 20. Or if I said y plus 5 is 20, what is the value of y? Most of you will know straight away that y must be 15 because 15 plus 5 is 20. You didn't show any calculations or do any calculations. You just considered the equation and gave a solution to the equation that was valid. Solving by inspection has a number of advantages. Here are a few. Firstly, it's really quick. If you can see the solution to the equation, you've got it. You don't need to do any extra work. Also, you don't need to explain how you solve the equation. Generally, equations that you can solve by inspection, you can quickly check your solution mentally. And finally, solving by inspection is really helpful if you don't have a different strategy to use to solve the equation. Here I've got a couple of examples for you to try to solve by inspection. Stop the video and try and work out what the value of x is in each of the following questions. And then once you're done, start the video again. I'm now going to discuss the solutions to the equations. The first equation says x divided by 8 is 4. Now I know from my knowledge of mental maths that x must be 32. Why? Let me check my answer. My left hand side will be 32 divided by 8, which I know is 4, which is equal to my right hand side. Let's look at the next question. 3x plus 2 is 23. Now surely 3x is going to have to equal to 21 because 21 plus 2 is 23. And 3 times by what is 21? 3 times by 7. So x must be 7. I can check my answer if I want. Left hand side, 3 times 7 plus 2, 21 plus 2 is 23, which is my right hand side. Now you should be able to see that checking your solution is not really necessary if you're solving by inspection. This is because the process you're going through to find the solution often involves checking anywhere. Now the next question says 3 to the power of x is 27. What I'm asking is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, how many times is 27? So surely x must be 3 because 3 to the power of 3 is 27. The fourth equation says 0 is equal to 8x plus 24. Now 8x is going to need to equal to negative 24 because when I add 24 and subtract 24, I'm going to get 0. So surely x must be negative 3. Now the next question, question 5, says x squared is equal to 2x. Now you might have looked at that and said, I know x is going to equal to 2. Or you might have looked at the equation quickly and said, no, x is equal to 0. Hmm, which one is correct? Let's check quickly. If I look at my first uh, solution of x is equal to 2, my left hand side will be 2 squared, which is 4. And my right hand side will be 2 times 2, which is 4. From my checking, x is equal to 2 is a valid solution. Let's look at the other solution I gave, x is equal to 0. If I look at the left-hand side, 0 squared, which means 0 times 0, 
will be 0. And my right hand side, 2 times 0 is 0. So this equation actually has two solutions. x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 0. Now when you solve by inspection, sometimes you only give one solution. So that's a limitation to solving by inspection. It means that you don't always think of all the solutions that are available. Now question 6, you might have found a little bit difficult. Let's see. 2x is going to need to equal to negative 3 because 4 minus 3 is 1. Now 2 times by what is going to be negative 3? 2 times by negative 3 out of 2 will give me negative 3. So therefore, x is equal to negative 3 out of 2. So question 6 is an example of where solving by inspection might also let you down. Sometimes when the solution is a fraction, you might find it a little bit difficult to solve by inspection. So to end, let's look at some disadvantages of solving by inspection. Firstly, it's very difficult to solve longer equations by inspection because there's so much going on. Also, as you saw with the sixth example, that if the solution is a fraction, sometimes it's hard to solve by inspection. Also, solving by inspection is not going to help you if you need to explain your working out. And finally, if you solve by inspection and get a solution, how do you know there isn't more than one solution to the equation? So maybe you've only given part of the solutions that are available. But remember, solving by inspection is not all bad. There are very many advantages, especially when an equation is quick and easy to solve. So I suggest if you've got a really easy equation to solve, Solve it by inspection and don't spend too much time doing lots of calculations to work it out.